for more details on this one. But uh, let's move on. G Shipping, that is the first corporate on our show today. Company posted a strong set of quarter two earnings with a stellar jump in revenue and profit. Uh, they have also announced a second dividend in FY23. To discuss this and more, we are now joined by G Shivakumar, who is the executive director and CEO at the company. Mr. Shivakumar, good afternoon. Thanks a lot for joining us. Well, it's been a very strong performance for you this time around. Quarter two has seen best ever quarterly profit turn net debt negative, basically, or net cash now. For the first time ever, can you give us a sense of how pricing is right now in terms of freight rates? Because most of the uh, uh, players that we speak to have been talking about how freight rates have been coming down. Can you give us a sense of what they are right now? And how much does dry, dry bulk account for in your overall revenues? Uh, good afternoon, Sonal. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, let's look at freight rates across different types of ships. Uh, tankers, which constitute about 60% of our fleet, are doing very well indeed. Uh, especially crude tankers have gone from strength to strength in the last couple of months. They had a good quarter. <clears throat> July, September, they had a good quarter. And this quarter, they've got even stronger. Uh, that's for the crude tankers. Product tankers were very strong in the last quarter. The strength has come off a little bit. Uh, from them, but still at very profitable levels. Uh, dry bulk is the uh, is the sector which is actually seeing some weakness for us. Uh, we had a pretty good quarter in uh, Q1 FY23. Q2 was a little worse. After Q2, it's got uh, it's come lower also. Across the board, still at at or above break even for the overall fleet. Uh, for dry bulk, but uh, significantly down from the previous year and from Q1 of this year, which was a very strong dry bulk market. Right. If you could give us a sense of uh, what proportion of your uh, revenue comes in from the dry bulk, you said 60% comes in from tankers. In that, how much of that is crude? How much of that is uh, product? And on dry bulk, you said they're significantly high. I remember. Back in the day, you would talk of levels of almost 80,000 for dry bulk that had crashed all the way down to 3,000. Where do they stand at now? So the, um, the Cape size bulk carriers, the big ones, uh, are earning about eleven to $13,000 a day in the spot market. The smaller bulk carriers are earning anywhere between, and depending on where they are, it could be anywhere between $10,000 and $18,000 a day, uh, depending on where they are. And some of the uh, voyages are a little lower in, uh, in pricing. Uh, depending on the positioning. Uh, coming to uh, share of revenue, I want to get it in share of revenue because that changes on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, instead, let's look at share of number of ships. We have 43 ships, of which 14 are bulk carriers. So a little over 30% of our fleet uh, is bulk carriers. Uh, seven of our ships are crude tankers. Uh, and 18, uh, so that's more than 40% of our fleet, uh, is product tankers. Uh, and the remaining four ships are LPG ships, which are on tank charter, so they don't really get affected by the spot market. <coughs> that spot market is very strong as well. Right. Mr. Shikmar, but uh, is it looking as a percentage of revenues perhaps uh, the better way? Because uh, counting by the number of ships, I mean, there's a big difference, right? Uh, crude, crude tankers is 20% uh, of your revenue, around uh, under 20% of your revenues, right? Uh, product is about uh, around 40%. Uh, no. So, based on the strength of what is happening now, so for instance, let me just give you an example. Crude tankers are earning in excess of $50,000 a day currently, while bulk carriers are earning on average $15,000 a day. I'm just giving you as an example. So, those 14 bulk carriers are actually earning uh, less than half of, about half of what the seven crude tankers are earning. Okay. Okay. Don't forget that 14 into 15 versus 7 yeah. into 15. <laughs> no, yeah, so, so that's why the revenue mix changes a lot yeah. from day to day. No, so are you... Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. No, it changes, but uh, it's been... Do you see any dramatic differences or this is largely the way... Uh, These are big differences. So you'll see the crude tanker... Uh, sorry to interrupt. you see the crude tanker average for the last quarter was $35,000 a day. Okay. Uh, currently, ships are earning $50,000 a day. So okay. that's sort of where it's different. Dry bulk cover in the 20s, currently earning probably in the teens. Uh, so uh, product tankers have come off a bit. So probably down uh, below $30,000 a day on average. You know, uh, one, one thing we were seeing is that uh, 
sorry, sorry. Got that, got that point, sir. Uh, that spot rates were coming off sharply, uh, whereas charter rates, uh, I mean, obviously, they'll work with a lag. Uh, so are you, uh, will that eventually show up uh, in a big way? Weakness? Uh, yes, spot rates have come off sharply in dry bulk. I take it you're referring to dry bulk, and charter rates have come off as well. Mm. And our ships are mainly in the spot market. So dry bulk, our entire fleet is basically running spot or very short periods. So there the pricing is coming down. Uh, crude carriers, product carriers, uh, pricing has gone up, as I mentioned. So those are improving. So crude carriers are improving. Product tankers are coming off a little bit. Okay. And it's reflecting in, you know, over a period of time, this will also reflect in the time charter leaves. All right. So that is about the freight rates. In terms of your fleet addition plans, uh, what do you have in place? You did talk about selling few ships in quarter two, which led to more cash in your books. But by, say, by the end of FY23, FY24, what would that look like? Uh, so, again, that's a forecast on the market. We don't know what it will look like. We're already <laughs> net cash. We're already net cash $30 million as of uh, $25 million as of end September. And it's just added on since then because the cash flows have continued to be strong. We would like to do CapEx. We have a requirement to do CapEx because we would like to grow. Uh, however, prices are quite a bit above our comfort levels. You can see it in our net asset value, which has grown by 30% uh, within the last six months, uh, which includes fleet uh, value growth plus the cash flows from the business. We were at about 620 rupees in March. We are now at 810 rupees. So that's a big growth in net asset value. 50-50, uh, that's between asset price improvement and cash profits uh, for the six-month period. So prices have gone up quite a bit. And again, I've mentioned in the past, we are value buyers. We like to be disciplined on this. We know it's a cycle. It'll turn at some point. We don't know when that will be. And we'll wait for that point. You had uh, also in the past said that, you know, you are looking at buying something perhaps somewhere towards the close of this year near the four, four, uh, fourth quarter. But we'll, we'll, we'll let that be because, uh, you know, these things uh, are variable. If you could give us a sense of the break-even prices for all your uh, verticals. You said that dry bulk at around eleven to $12,000 uh, per day is just about break-even. Can you give us the break-even price for all of this so that we know that if we're tracking the prices on a day-to-day -day basis... We know whether you're breaking even or not for a product, crude, and uh, dry bulk. Yeah. So typically, product and dry bulk will be in the region of eleven to twelve thousand dollars a day, or maybe a little lower than that, maybe ten uh, to twelve thousand dollars a day. Uh, crude tankers also because we bought them quite a while ago, and you know they are some of them are written down, etc. Probably also in the around the same numbers, maybe twelve thousand. Gas carriers, because we bought them more recently, that is in the last five years, and typically those are more expensive assets, maybe in the mid to high teens. So overall, the fleet break-even would be somewhere in the $12,000, to $12,000 a day region. As and an overall fleet, and it's it doesn't vary much between different types of ships, except for gas carriers, which are a little bit of an outlier, being uh, higher cost assets. And uh, finally, uh, any of your uh, fleet going into dry dock in the next couple of quarters? We have ships in dry dock all the time. Typically, uh, uh, one-fourth of the fleet uh, on a thumb rule kind of basis, between one-third and one-fourth of the fleet every year will go into dry dock, which means about 15 ships in, uh, in a year. Uh, so you'll typically find ships in dry dock. Currently, we have three ships in dry dock, uh, all product tankers. All right. Mr. Shukumar, I know, I know this does not impact you uh, in any way, but I read a story, I think yesterday, day before, which said that uh, the container market is also uh, going into a huge surplus uh, from absolute uh, shortage. Uh, it's now oversupplied. Uh, is, that, is, that, uh, is that correct? And any implications as you see it? Uh, not our market, and we read re uh, reports same as you. But it's not surprising the cycle plays out. And it's just that, you know, sometimes the cycle gets very extreme like it was in containers uh, last year and, you know, up to middle of this year. Uh, it's not surprising at all that the cycle corrects itself. Uh, there's also a big order book of container ships, which luckily we don't have uh, a significant order book of new ships to, coming, to come into the world fleet in uh, any of our sectors. So it's a cycle playing out, and that's what we've seen, uh, you know, over the decades. All right, uh, Mr. Shivakumar, it was ple a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much for joining us, explaining the business and also what's happening in the industry as well. That's the word coming in from G Shipping. With that, we'll slip into a break now. On the other side, we'll connect with, uh, with Ramani Das.